Your St. Croix stove is equipped with a damper that allows you to adjust combustion airflow to match the unique needs of your installation and chimney configuration. Properly adjusting the damper is one of the most important steps in setting up your stove to burn all types of fuels. It may take a little time and patience, but only needs to be done once. After that, provided your fuel supply remains constant, the control board will do the rest. Before we look at how to adjust the damper, let's take a moment to see what the St. Croix multi-fuel burning system looks like with the damper at the correct setting. The burn pot should be balanced, meaning that when fuel is fed into the burn pot, it rapidly turns into glowing coals. If you see a lot of unburned fuel in the pot, an adjustment may be needed. In an unbalanced pot, the fuel will quickly stick together and prevent the proper flow of combustion air. The pot will overload and the fire will go out. Now that you know the difference between a balanced and unbalanced burn pot, the next step is to burn your stove. The break-in period requires you to burn approximately 15 bags of fuel, or the equivalent of burning the unit continuously for two weeks. Damper adjustment should take place during this time. The damper features a set screw that is preset at the factory. The factory setting is designed to work for 90% of common installations, so you'll most likely only need to make small adjustments during the break-in period. To know if the damper needs to be adjusted, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. The entire process takes about three hours of attention on and off. But remember, it only needs to be done once. Light your stove and once it's burning, leave the control board on the number one setting for a half hour. This will allow the stove to warm up before any adjustments to the damper are made. After a half hour, look in the burn pot to see if it's balanced. Unless there weren't enough coals in the pot, once the fuel automatically started feeding into the pot on startup, the stove should be burning fine and an adjustment is not needed. Advance the heat setting to number two and let the stove burn at this setting for another half hour. Check the burn pot to see if it's balanced. Again, the damper should not need adjusting. Turn the heat setting to number three and burn for another half hour. Once again, check the burn pot, making sure to look at the coals, not the flame. Most likely, the damper will not need to be adjusted. Advance the heat setting to number four, burn for another half hour, and check the burn pot again. This is where a damper adjustment might need to be made. If you notice that the coals are being covered up with unburned fuel, adjust the damper to give it more air by turning the set screw one half turn clockwise to open the damper. Remember to use the damper handle to bring the damper up to the screw. If the pot started to overload, you might need to break up the clump of fuel in the burn pot with a screwdriver to allow for proper airflow. Wait 15 minutes to see if the burn pot becomes balanced. Repeat this step as many times as needed until the burn pot is balanced. Finally, turn the heat setting to number 5 and follow the same procedure as for heat setting number 4. Remember, if you need to adjust the damper, only turn the set screw one half turn clockwise to open the damper and always wait at least 15 minutes to see how the burn pot reacts before making another adjustment. Again, repeat this step as needed to balance the burn pot. If your stove is connected to an existing chimney system that has good natural draft, you may actually have to close the damper slightly on heat settings number four and number five to compensate for the additional draft. If this is the case, simply turn the set screw one half turn counterclockwise. Always pull the damper against the set screw when closing the damper.